DJ Pro was able to fit so many amazing features into this great software, and the way they were able to do it was by separating it into different view modes. So I'm going to explain to you guys what every single view mode does as fast as I can, and I'm not going to edit this video at all. So first one we're going to get is hardware mode, and that is because I have a controller plugged in. Well, it's act not actually plugged in, but it's a Bluetooth controller. It's that Hercules back there. And so that is connected so you could access hardware mode. See, hardware mode's here. So let me show you what it is. It looks a little bit different. It, it optimizes the screen so that you can do more stuff. So the stuff that's on your controller, you don't see. So like the crossfader isn't there and stuff like that. And the stuff that probably isn't on your controller is much bigger. Really cool mode, but then you have to get, it's kind of like getting used to a whole new DJ software. So that's why I never use hardware mode. And then watch what happens when I turn that controller off. Hardware mode. is gone. So hardware mode only appears if you have a controller plugged in. Yeah, and I have a remote to control those lights back there. So when I'm done making my videos, I could just turn it off without having to get up. Okay, so now we have starter mode. This is for if you're a noob or you're not really interested in DJing, but you kind of are. So you have your two decks, you have a BPM slider, a play buttons, effects. I really like how they did the samples here. But yeah, it's like a really stripped down version of the software. Kind of like if you never driven a car before and you hopped into a car and you saw like all those gauges and knobs and buttons and this and that, you'd get overwhelmed. But then once you learn how to drive, you're kind of like, oh, I don't really have to use any of that stuff. All right. So that is starter mode. And now we got auto mix. Auto mix is awesome. Not cheating kind of is, but it's not. And you could have it use AI technology to automatically mix the songs for you. Really cool. Every time I drive somewhere, I keep this on on my phone and it's like you have a DJ in the passenger seat and it does really good transitions. Most of the time, you just have to make sure you make a good playlist. And I made so many videos about how to make playlists. So you guys could watch that. Yacht Classic Mode, this one is if you want to scratch. If you guys want to see me try to scratch right now, I will. So Classic Mode, you get the biggest view of your jog wheels. Well, now they're record decks. They're actually emulated record decks, and you can move this arm over here just like you would on the record deck. Really cool. Awesome. I love looking at this. I. Will... It's just how did they make it so realistic record decks? on the iPad. Super cool. So let's do some scratching. And yeah, you can press the middle button, open up your waveforms. So yeah, it's for scratching turntablism. I think it's the coolest looking part of the software. You could access pretty much any feature in the software that you could in pro mode. It's just a little more limited because we have our jog wheel here, then you open your features and you lose the jog wheel. So you get the biggest, coolest view of the jog wheel or records, but you don't get to use as many features at the same time that you would if you were in pro mode. Pro mode. This is the most like other DJ softwares, Serato, Rekordbox. I don't know. I've never used any of those softwares. I've only, only ever DJed with DJ Pro, but it's probably like those. It's the most advanced. You got all your features, neural mix, AI technology, everything that you could possibly want with the software is in pro mode. So if you are planning on DJing professionally, if you take this seriously, or if you don't, you could use pro mode. Next is going to be a looper. Really cool. It's like a beat making software inside of this software. So. So really cool right there. You have all of these different sample packs. Well, these are loopers, but you could get samples over here.
yeah, so those are our samples. Next, we have our one deck mode. Oh, and with the looper, don't use the looper mode. If you go in pro mode and you press this button, you got every feature that you would in looper, but more. One deck, this is for organizing your tracks. If you guys watched any of my videos, you know the most important thing, but organize your tracks. All right, so th that's what you're gonna do here. Really cool, you could set your auto mixes where they're gonna start and where they're gonna end right here. That's the coolest part about this. And then your cue points, you got a drop down menu. You can do loops, beat grid, one deck for organizing your tracks. Four decks. Yes, you could DJ with four decks. I don't think a lot of people will be playing four songs at the same time, but a good idea is, you see that camera just bugged out? A good, a good idea is to have a track that like you know is gonna work and then just keep it on one of these like th deck three and four. And then if you play a song that's terrible, you could just switch to it right away. Or you could keep a scratch track, vocal track. You could get really creative because you have more decks. Video mode, video mode is the best mode. If you're not taking advantage of video mode, you should be. And it's very easy to connect your iPad into a projector or a TV for using video mode. And if you want to learn how to do that, I made like 20 videos about it. 